Why, why, why? This is going to be interesting. Now, you guys uh, already know how we feel about Donald Trump. Like, y'all know how I feel, right? As far as Savvy, you know, you made it pretty clear how you feel about Donald Trump. Um, in comparison, and when somebody says either or is better than the other, what is your typical response to when someone says, oh, well, Donald Trump's better than Joe Biden or Biden's better than Donald Trump? I mean, they're both fairly similar when you look at economics, right? Like when you look at some of the things that actually the economy is worth under Joe Biden. Like, let's just keep it real, right? Mm -hmm. But they're both... They're, they're similar in ways. Like we talked about how the fact that Trump is more overt about certain things like the climate issue, for example, Trump will say, we're bringing back plastic straws, right? Mm -hmm. Joe Biden won't say we're bringing back plastic straws, but Joe Biden will sign legislation to continue drilling, right? So uh, fracking. So it's, it, they, they still do things that support the status quo for the most part. So there's really not that much of a difference. It's just that one is overt and one is a uh, covert. That's how I see it. Basically. So thank you so much. And no beaver boys, I'm not taking off my shirt. Let's get to the video that I actually have queued up for us. <laughs> I'm also looking at the chat at the same time. So this is actually a uh, commentary that was brought up by Jesse Waters. You have two different sides that are feuding over what Jeffrey, I'm oh, sorry, what Jesse Waters said. And so I want to go through this. And Sabs, if you have any commentary that you want to give while he's, you know, I'm playing this, please just let me know to stop so you can give some commentary on this as well. But let's talk about this let's let let's uh i'll see you on the other side over the weekend with the help of mugshot merchandise the trump campaign raked in over seven million dollars today my garbage man told me he's buying mugshot t-shirts for everyone he knows this christmas the mugshots up on the side of buildings in the inner city the 2016 phenomenon's happening all over again trump won that election because of a laser-like focus on the forgotten man a bond was formed back then that can never be broken. And there's a new forgotten man, the black man. Democrats have forgotten about him. The media and the professional class are so fixated with smearing and disqualifying one man that they've forgotten that the Democratic Party should be fixated on fixing problems. Hey, let me ask you, Sabs. Are black men the new forgotten man? Could be, right? It could be if Donald Trump were to play this in that way. Like, he could easily play it in that direction. It's hilarious to me, though. I'm seeing people, like, actually creating murals of Donald Trump, like, in the hood. Like, th again, this goes back to that hero worship, though. Mm -hmm. And we always have to continue to address the fact that there's no one person that's coming to save you. And I feel like, like, for Americans, for whatever reason, I feel like we have to have someone to idolize. Mm -hmm. You ever feel that way? Yeah, I, I I see that as as a narrative that's always pushed forward. Yeah. Or someone to put up on a pedestal, so to speak. Like I feel like we always have to have have that. Yeah. I would push back against Jesse Waters and say black men are not the new forgotten man. We are the original forgotten man. That's a good point. I think in reference to campaign purposes, I think that Donald Trump will try to spin it. He will try to spin it in a way that was not recognized during his 2016 campaign. Mm -hmm. Because during his 2016 campaign, he was talking to working class white people. He was talking about them when he said the forgotten man, right? That's who he was speaking to in the audience. But he could take this and spin it in a way now to make it seem like, oh, I'm speaking to you too. You know, I'm speaking to black guys, black men that have been unfairly punished by the criminal justice system in this country. And you know what's funny though, JB, people will fall for this. Many already have, and that's part of what we're talking about, but let's continue. All right. Better wages, better jobs, better schools, 
better health care. Democrats have overpromised and underdelivered for black Americans for decades. And as this election rolls around, Democrats once again are obsessed with Trump instead of their most dependable voter. The mugshot crystallized that. He got indicted? And Trump got a target on his back just like a black man. Y'all keep messing with him. Hey, Trump, go ahead and wipe that white paint out your face, man. You black now. You good in the hood. As far as I know, Trump is black. When I Jamie. Sabs, go ahead. Are you guys hearing this? Like, those of you in the audience, are you hearing this? Like, this is ridiculous. This is how far it's gone now, though, JB. This is Bill Clinton all over again. Yep. When Bill Clinton played the saxophone on Arsenio Hall, when Bill Clinton said that he smoked weed, but he did not inhale. You know, it was a similar thing where some people from the black community were like, oh, yeah, Bill Clinton gets the black card. Why? <laughs> Why? Why the fuck are we doing this? Stop giving that card away to people. Remember when they gave that card to Justin Timberlake? You saw how that. <laughs> it, <laughs> you saw look, how that turned out. Sabs. Giving the black card away. Is like giving a credit card to just anybody. You can't because if they're irresponsible with it, then you're going to screw over everybody in your circle. You can't just give the black card away to anybody. Mm -hmm. Right? Hell, I think that Obama's black card should be rescinded. Mm -hmm. All right. You got anything else before I continue? No, it's just, it's, it's, we predicted that they would make him a martyr, right? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. All right. Trump is black. When are you guys going to learn? The more you indict, the more we unite. Gangsters. How about Trump 2024? You heard me. Woo -woo. Gangsters. The hood got this man back. It's Trump 2024. That's what it's going to be because we ain't having nothing else. Arresting Donald Trump not yeah. once, not twice, not three times, but four times did something I thought was impossible. It made Donald Trump into a sympathetic character. Made a billionaire a victim of the man. I know. It does. And there's there's way there's more videos like that, you guys. Like if you go on TikTok, there's more videos like that. We're not even showing you all the crazy videos. I got more. I got <laughs> I got more. He said that they made people sympathize with the billionaire. Yep. I was just on um I was just recording on bad faith and um Bree and I talked about this towards the end. And one of the things I was saying to her is I was like, the way that they went about the indictments, like waiting until Donald Trump announced he was running for presidency to issue that very first indictment, the way that they went about doing it is what caused, caused some of this. Why didn't they indict Donald Trump before he announced he was running for president? They had plenty of time, JB. Donald Trump's been out of office since 20... Since the end of 2020. So they had plenty of time. They waited until after he announced that he was running. And then they decide to indict Donald Trump. Are they stupid? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sis, let me. Oh, oh, God. Okay. So here's the thing. The Democrats are so stupid that they gave this motherfucker street cred. They gave him street cred. Like how in the, how dumb can y'all be? Rappers gonna be making songs about him again, watch. Yeah. You guys forget, you guys forget that Donald Trump used to be in rap videos. Yeah. He used to roll with, you know, rappers because they wanted to be like him. Yep. 
He was also in that uh, the Bobby Brown music video for Ghostbusters, the On Our Own song. Donald Trump was in that music video too. This is why I'm like, what is happening here? I better not. I'll tell you right now. I better not roll up to my family's neighborhood. I better not roll up to see my relatives and see them wearing Trump mugshot shirts. <laughs> I would tell take it off. <laughs> I can to go back to Jersey and go see my family. Take it off. Oh my gosh. Lord and Lord. All right. There, there's also something I want to notice about what Jesse says, but let, let me continue. No, sounds crazy. Black Americans throughout our history have felt unfairly victimized by the system. Historically, there's some truth to that. The mugshot unintentionally created a bond between Donald Trump and black Americans. Y'all a lot big Trump up like that. I don't appreciate none of that. Because let me tell y'all something now. These other presidents be saying good stuff to you, but doing bad stuff to you. Trump might be saying some bad stuff, but he was doing some good stuff. Check the record. Out of all the people this man could have freed, man, he freed Lil Wayne, man, the goat, he freed Kodak. Hold up. Let, let me let me enlarge this so y'all can see my face. Lil Wayne. His skills as a rapper do not dictate how virtuous he is as a human. Now, if you want to see talk about, oh my God, I think I forgot the lady's name who got freed. I think it was Al, is it Alice Johnson? Can't remember. You're talking about one of the people that Trump uh, pardoned. And part of the first step back. Um, Kim Kardashian actually came and spoke to him, and then he ended up. Um, I remember that pardoning her, but, but yeah, so it's crazy because, like, it's not. It's like yes, he did that part, the First Step Act. That's one thing that the Democrats should have one up him on the democrats should have one up them on it but they didn't the democrats could have did a lot of things the democrats could have passed health care for all in this amount of time but they didn't they could have canceled student loan debt but they didn't they could have they could have tried to push for a national rent control but they didn't they could have made took the rent moratorium and then made sure that everybody's rent was paid. They could have did it. It would have been billions. It would have been trillions of dollars. But, I mean, they literally dumped $4 trillion into the stock market. So, so what? They literally could have made sure that everybody's rent was canceled for a few months during the pandemic. Obama pardoned people towards the very end of his second term. Remember that? Mm -hmm. But still, he could he could have done so much more in reference to the criminal justice system. Yeah. How do you let Trump get cred for, think about this, guys? How are you going to let, how are you going to let him outdo you with black people. Right. Like, mm -hmm. bruh, this is the party of our parents and our grandparents and our great grandparents. They had the, the Democrats had black people on lock. And now they're starting to leave, which I'm happy about. I actually want black people to leave the Democratic Party. But I don't want black people going from one crack house to another. And that's what's been happening too. And especially if you look at the polls, that recent poll from Fox News, I think you saw it, you saw it too, JB, where it said 20% of African-Americans support Donald Trump now compared to 8% in 2020. 20%. Now that's here's crazy. the thing I find, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. 
Oh, I was. That's all. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing I find ironic from Jesse Waters. Jesse Waters is like, well, yeah, because black people have been treated unfairly and badly all this time in the United States. I'm like, which one is it? Because when conservatives now conservatives are saying, oh, yeah, black people, they've been treated badly throughout this country. Meanwhile, when we had when when Trump was doing all right and then we were complaining about the system, it's. Oh man, you guys just need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You guys are doing, you guys are doing fine. It's like, which one is it, Jesse? But he he also said historically that is true. That's true right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are we being oppressed, or are we not being oppressed? See, this is the thing you got to realize. A lot of these right wingers, especially these right wingers in the Republican Party, they are just like Democrats. They're very choosy with their language. They are no different. Look at Jesse Waters as no different than a Joanne Reed on MSNBC. They are just two sides of the same coin. That's it. And so yep. when you hear somebody like Jesse Waters say something like that, it's like, wait a minute. Uh this is the same guy that would be saying, oh, well, all you guys need to do is just pull yourself by your bootstraps. What are you doing? It's like, no, no. It's like, you would be saying something completely different if this wasn't the case. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Let's continue because this, I ain't going to lie, though. His edge is tight, but. He free Kodak, you know what I'm saying? And y'all done locked Big Trump up. Y'all got him in Atlanta, man. Free Big Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump's support black Americans has steadily been going up. In 2020, Biden won 91 percent of the black vote. Trump had eight. Just three years later, Biden's down 30 points with black America. That's the bigger thing. It's down 30 points. It's really embarrassing, right? Like to be the sitting president right now and to go from 91% to 61%, it's with black voters. What did you do? I mean, Obama didn't have those numbers. Bill Clinton didn't have those numbers. Shout out to Case Study QB for this clip, by the way. I forgot to say that, but. Case. Yeah. And for sitting through the torture of it too. Can we add that part, JB? Can we add the part about sitting through the torture? <laughs> yes. Case, Case, Case is a saint, man, because this man be sitting through all this corporate media stuff just to clip it for everybody. Woo, Lord, God bless, God bless Case Study. <laughs> case to the B. Yeah. But yeah, so that's drastic. Lost 31 points. I'm sorry, 30 points among black people. Good. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't include us because we weren't polled. No, we weren't. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. What's up? Joe Biden lost 30% of African-American voters, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Trump gained 12%. Mm -hmm. 30%? 12 percent mm -hmm. where does that difference go right right where does that difference go think about it guys i see, I see you i see you sabs huh good thinking i'm gonna pull it up now let me go to it was 30%. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. That's the wrong thing. I hate this. This computer is just weird. Mm -hmm. How the calculator app and the calendar app look the same? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. 18% <laughs> difference. Yeah. So where does that 18% go? Think about it, guys. That's what they're afraid of. Yeah. That's eight. Ooh, Lord. Mm. All right. Let, let's, let's, let's keep going. Points with black America. 
Trump's up 12 percent. There's a reason for that. A few of them. Metropolitan areas are rapidly decaying under Democrat leadership, not to mention inflation eating away at black bank accounts. That's not just in blue states and blue cities. It's also in red states and red cities, too. He knows. I'm not going to tell you. It's happening both. Yep. Yeah. Time for talks over. Joe Biden, more than any other president, represents the system. He represents the man. He represents the permanent Washington power broker whose callous policies created the forgotten man. And what better way to send a message to the system than to vote for the man who the system is trying to destroy? This video is for every single black person out there. If you really want to f- over this government that has f- over your ancestors, if you really want to f- over this government that helped kill Martin Luther King Jr., I man, I'm asking you to do me a favor. Go vote for Donald Trump. F- they f- up, because they've been f- it up for us for the longest, and it's been this. Vote for Donald Trump. The Democrats have made Trump a martyr. <sighs> So everyone sees what's happening now, right? I would say to that gentleman's point, I would say if you really want to, you know, screw things up, don't vote for either one of these parties. Go vote for the Green Party if you really want to screw things up. Yeah. Black voters, come on over to the Green Party. Yeah. My thing though is if I think there's a I think there's a disconnect because that general that last gentleman was half right. Like The Democrats ain't do nothing for you. But going to the buddies of billionaires, the buddy of billionaires is not the way to go because Donald Trump is just like Joe Biden. The Democrats and the Republicans are two sides of the same coin. See, that's the thing I think a lot of Black people just aren't thinking about because they have this they have this binary mindset. Well, I'm just going to go over to the Republicans. And it's like, nah, bro. See, they're all part of the same thing. That's the trick of the system, right? Why am I going to go to a long John Silver's on one side of the counter and it's the same store for the KFC? Like, nah, I'm not going to go to the KFC side and walk away from the Long John Silver side because you're still in the same building. You're still giving your money to the same boss at the end. You don't go from Chick-fil-A, like you don't leave Chick-fil-A to go to KFC. You leave Chick-fil-A and you go to Popeyes. I'm in a silly mood, JB. I'm serious. Think about it. Think about it. Would you leave Chick-fil-A and go to KFC? No. (laughs) You leave Chick-fil-A and you go to Popeye's and you get a real juicy chicken sandwich. That's Mm -hmm. what you do. Yup. Yup. And I think that's something that's missing from a lot of Black people's political analysis. Because ultimately, yes, did Joe Biden create the crime bill in 94 that has contributed to mass incarceration? Yes. Who continues to use that law in order to continue mass incarceration? Donald Trump. That's right. We said defund the police so that we can actually have better resources in our neighborhoods. Joe Biden was like, no, we're going to fund the police more. Who also wants to fund the police more? Donald Trump. When George Floyd was murdered and Donald Trump was still president, we were getting our heads bashed in just for speaking our minds and using our First Amendment rights. Joe Biden was approving of people's heads getting bashed in, but Donald Trump's was too. So the thing is, is that black people really need to stop looking for some head. And also, y'all need to research about Donald Trump and his racism. Yes, 
Joe Biden is racist, leave his ass and the Democratic Party. But Donald Trump is also racist, and y'all need to leave his ass and the Republican Party. Because wasn't it Donald Trump who was discriminating against black people when they own a building, an apartment building? And and in reference to uh, tenants. Now, I know some people are going to say, oh, that was in the past. You know, that was in the past. That was long ago. People can change. It was in the past. A, a lot of things were in the past. But it, it shows you, it tells you something about that person's character, right? So I think that's something you need to think about. Again, like, this is this is what it's like. It's like going from one master to another master when you're still being enslaved. Mm -hmm. You need to leave both masters. Yeah. And I think that's what I want people to really grasp. Like, you don't... I, I want Black people in this country to feel like we don't have to belong to either one of these groups. There's somebody is in the chat that I think they actually approve of Trump. They said, tell me something that Donald Trump did that was racist. Tell me one thing that Donald Trump said was racist. I got one thing, the Central Park Five. Central Park Five, mm -hmm. refusing to rent to black mm -hmm. applicants. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's just a couple of things just off the top of our heads. And then on top of that, even though the Central Park Five were exonerated, Donald Trump still thought they were guilty. He still wanted them to be executed. Yeah, he called Black for their, their execution. Like, he didn't call for them to go to jail. He called for them to be executed. Yeah. Imagine if those guys would have been killed. Mm -hmm. So is Donald Trump really a, a, a cool with Black people? <laughs> no! Donald Trump is cool with Joe Biden in secret. Donald Trump is cool with Hillary Clinton in secret. You all these think people are cool. cares about y'all. Listen, all these people go to the same country clubs. Think yes. about this, guys. All of these people can go to the same country club that you can't even step on the lawn. You can't even get through the gate. So regardless if they're a Democrat or Republican, they can all go to the same country club that you can't even get into. Think about that. Here's the thing. Donald Trump and Joe Biden don't care about black people. Nope. That's the thing that I think a lot of people really need to get through to their heads. Black people, we need to talk. Do you remember when Kanye West made that statement during Hurricane Katrina and he said, George Bush doesn't care about black people? Do you remember that, JB? I remember it. And I remember people like it was such a controversial statement. And I'm like, well, what else could you say at that point in time when you see all those people in New Orleans left basically to fend for their self in a city that was flooded? People sitting on the rooftops of their homes. People had no food, no nothing. And the U.S. government basically acted like they didn't even exist. Same thing in reference to Hawaii and what you see happening right now in reference to Maui, where they can send billions of dollars to Ukraine, but they tell the people in Hawaii, here's $700 per household. They don't care about you. It doesn't matter if they're a Republican or a Democrat. At the end of the day, they look out for corporate interests, and you are not a part of corporate interest. Yep. So the thing is, is like there is... There is this, what's the word I want to use? It's like there's tokenism on both sides. And now, guess what? There's going to be tokenism on the, Re on the Republican Party, too. Not going to be any much different. There's going to be tokenism from Trump. There's going to be tokenism from Barack Obama, right? There's already that right now with Vivek uh, Ramaswamy. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is true. Top JJ said, didn't Trump take out a full page ad in the New York Times lobbying for the execution of the Central Park Five? Yes, that's true. Y'all need to get off the plantation. Don't jump from one plantation to another just because, oh, this master, he's good with for he's good white folk. <laughs> jump in plantations get off the plantation entirely 
Good God. Master was good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I shout this out, JB? Sure. Thank you so much, uh, Frank Johnson, for the 99.99 Super Chat. Thank you so much for that. Wow. Sappy yeah. and Jay, love from Memphis, Tennessee. The Dems have handed Trump the easiest victories. We can't stop the downward spiral of the U.S. empire. If we even have an election next year, it will be a shit show like we have never seen. It may be time to leave this country. And you know what, Frank? You definitely do have a point. Unfortunately, there's a lot of us that we can't. Expensive. Yeah. I, I can't country. afford to. You know? I can't. Like, look, I'm literally struggling right now. It's ridiculous. You know, and there's a lot of us that want to, but we can't. And so if you can, then then great. But pockets are empty, dog. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive to move, mm -hmm. you know, domestically, let alone internationally. Yeah. But I, I totally hear where Frank's coming from. Mm -hmm. Some people yeah. already left. Nico peaced out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Nico blame said, you. I am out of this country. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's another video that I want to share. And you shared this on your channel. Um, but I saw this. I was like, what in the world? Oh, I know. That, it's this is exactly. Look, what y'all reading on that man's shirt is exactly what. And see, there's a black woman. There's a black woman right behind him with a MAGA hat. Let's go. Why well, I'm here to support President Trump because it done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt, two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt, niggas for Trump 2024, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Uh, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's <laughs> going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She's full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal that, that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. <laughs> um, wouldn't that be like kind of like communist? No, nah, there's no way that Neil communist. Now we're just gonna make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He for that. Yeah, Trump for King 2024. That's actually my URL. I own that URL. You own that URL. First of all, people, Americans need to understand and learn the definition of communism. One. Thank you. And two, do you see you guys see what's happening? Trump for king? This country is laughable. Yeah. Yeah. And I just let me let me just go back over just a couple things this this gentleman said because um I think that we need to like address this. I'm wearing my shirt niggas for Trump 2024 and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country, you know. Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a uh, she went to school with my sister. So she's full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal that, that is controlling everything. She's if the Democratic Party had actually improved the justice system, the criminal justice system in this country, and made things more fair. Instead of continuing to increase the police and instead of allowing the Justice Department to target groups like the African People's Socialist Party, then maybe, just maybe, Black people wouldn't feel that the system is continuously unfair and then sympathize with Trump. Mm-hmm. And they had their chance to improve things. But this happened with OJ Simpson too, JB. 
And OJ Simpson wasn't running for president, but this same thing happened. Why did so many people from the black community sympathize with OJ? No, not just because OJ Simpson was black, but because people felt like they were trying to take a black man down. OJ Simpson had no love for the black community. Like, can we say it again? OJ Simpson had no love for the black community, didn't want anything to do with the black community, purposely made sure he lived in a spot where there were no black people. He did not want anything to do with the black community. When OJ Simpson was put on trial, the black community showed overwhelming support for a man that wanted nothing to do with them, nothing to do with the black community. Because they felt like he was being weaponized by the legal the, the, the legal system and the police. So here we go again. Different guy. But again, people feel like he's been created into a martyr, so to speak. Yep. Sometimes I think they all in on this together, JB. Sometimes I think the Republican Party and the Democratic Party are in on this all together. Sometimes I think secretly behind the scenes, they're like, yeah, you know, on this side, you guys, you know, completely screw up and then we'll come back in and we'll win next time. And you just keep people in this duopoly. Sometimes Sab, I feel like you do this together. Sabs, you ruined the surprise. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's the point. I, I, I think the same thing, too. I honestly think there's a great argument for, yeah, the Democrats and Republicans are all in on this together. And they're just like, we know black people are fed up with us. So we're just going to move them over to the Republican side and let them simmer there for a little while. That's basically it. That's what I think. And they'll keep us around, those of us in the black community, the Democratic Party, they'll keep us around and for mm -hmm. as long as they need to until we are no longer the population that they need in order to win. Yep, exactly. Now, then they won't want to hear anything we have to say. Exactly. Let's go to this next uh, video. <sighs> Let's go. Man, free Trump, man. man. Free Trump, man. This is a witch hunt. We don't even know what he did. They just making stuff up. Free Trump, twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Trump. All the way. If Donald Trump was here right now, what would you tell him? Uh, that's my guy. I tell him to roll up. Come hit the spliff. He's the truth. <laughs> if Joe Biden was here right now, what would you tell him? Why? He a bad president. I love Donald Trump. Donald Trump dropped that bad, that good chicken. Good chicken, young. Yeah. That's why I want Donald Trump back, man. They need to put Donald Trump back in the Joe Biden. Trump or DeSantis? I'm going to be honest with you. I f with Trump, to be honest with you, bro, for real, Trump really did this shit. And I like him because he's about money. It wasn't about no politics. He wanted to make America great again. Through Trump. You know what Trump did for us? If Donald Trump was here right now, what would you tell him? Run for president. You vote for him? I would vote for him. He was a good president. Trump or Biden? Trump. Trump? Why? He's just a real nigga. Like, I'd rather my president tell me exactly what it is than, like, beat around the bush, you know? Like, he's just a real nigga. Like, he gonna let a nigga know what it is. How do you feel about Trump getting indicted? They need to free my boy. Would you say that, like, this whole thing to try and arrest him is almost like a witch hunt? Would you say that? Yeah, because out of every other president, they only doing this for him. He's been exposing it. They don't like that. Trump 2024, my brother. They know they can't get him wait, for the wait, wait, shit. Baby, can you go back to him? Yeah. I used to like that. Oh, hey. now, bro. I'm sorry. Can you what? go back to him really quick? Just just for one sec. I'm sorry. Can we start with him again? It's the way he said, my boy. Listen to the. It's funny. Okay. Let me make sure I. Okay. How do you feel about Trump getting indicted? They need to free my boy. Would you say that like this whole thing to Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Black people, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Why did he say it like that, JB? Why? My boy.
man, cookout's gotta be fun. It gotta be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. Trying to arrest him is almost like a witch hunt. Would you say that? Yeah, because out of every other president, they only doing this for him. He's been exposing and they don't like that. Oh, Church is ready for my brother. They know they can't. <laughs> I better. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> dear sorry. Lord, why in it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't like that. Church is ready for my brother. They know they can't get him for none of the real shit. We get it, gang. Yeah, I ain't used to like that, but now, bro, I realize that he meant well for the country and shit, bro. We need that back. Free Trump. Trump or Biden? Trump. I just feel that, you know, Trump had the country on a better path as far as economically. I just don't see what Biden's really done. He put America first, so it makes sense. I like someone who fights to put his people first. He want to generate money and income, help out businesses. I, I got a business, so I, I fuck with that. Biden ain't with all that. Trump or Biden? Oh, Trump all day. Trump. Trump. Why? Because Trump is the greatest president of all time. He stood up against the establishment, the swamp. He woke up the people as a politician. Trump did everything that I would want my president of United States to do. He supports everything that the founding fathers set up. And I support that as an American. Do you think that Trump That looks like it's Miami. He, he doesn't support everything the founding fathers set up because the founding fathers did not want political parties. No. Also... They wanted a separation of church and state. Ding, ding, ding. So, no. Neither, neither, neither party. Neither party. We got to keep hammering that home. Neither party, baby. All right. Trump should run for president in 2024. Yes, I think he should run for president. He's going to win presidency. So make sure you go and put your votes in for Trump ASAP. Why? Because he's the best president we ever had. He's for the people. He's for all of us. Whether you black, brown, white, whatever the color, whatever, it don't mean nothing. Trump's here for us. Let's support him. Let's get out there and let's rock with him. Trump 2020. How do you approve of Joe Biden's administration? Zero. He took too much money, bro. He stole the money and let his son do coke with it, bro. Biden is trash. He is ass. He is gas. They need to get him out here real fast. <laughs> 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 a mess <laughs> oh, oh no 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 <laughs> no 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 remember the woman from mad tv no 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 or 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 Stuart. no <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> now, Stuart, now your joke, you, you don't go there and start pooping in your pool. All right. <laughs> All right. Dear God, this is hilarious. We need a hero. Trump was a hero. He gave us the money. We won't. She's a 10, but she voted for Biden. No, she is a zero. We need him back, man. We need Trump. Trump gave a lot of black people money, free money that a lot of y'all probably don't know about. Do you think that Trump did more for the black community than Joe Biden? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Trump. She's a 10, but she voted for Trump. If she voted for Trump, she's a 100. He had the gas prices right, inflation looking right. Why is eggs $12, man? Biden. Trump 24, make America great again. Man, peace out. She's a 10, but she voted for Biden. A one. She a one? Fuck that bitch. I love Donald Trump. Trump wanted us to get off our ass and get some money. Trump 2020. She's a 10, but she voted for Biden. Hell nah, fuck that bitch. I'm with Donald Trump. If that bitch ain't <laughs> voting Donald Trump, I can't fuck with her. Why? Because, man, Trump for the people. He don't like lazy people. See, Biden, he be falling asleep and shit. Yep. So that mean the girl... Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let's let's go. 
girl falling asleep. I need somebody that's woke and know what the fuck going on. He needs somebody that's woke. He needs somebody that's woke, Sam. JB. So now, so now, so now Trump is woke. See, here we go. Is that, is that where we're going now? That's what people are doing now. Oh my gosh. Dear Lord. If people want to be delusional, I can't rock with them. See, the girl, she tripping. She need to vote for Trump. Hello, people. How you doing? I was just sitting here, and it just swelled up something in my spirit. I'm just going to come on here and say it, man. Mr. President Donald Trump, I want to meet you so bad. Mainly to apologize face to face for allowing the media to influence my opinion of you. Good for you. I've been digging and doing my research, man. So many hidden things that they hid, that they, they hid, that you were doing. If you run yep. again, you have my vote this time. Up there it says Black Lives MAGA. Wow. USA! 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 This country is one long sitcom. Yep. Absolutely. You but know. again, I feel like part of this is because Americans need someone to believe in. And I, I wish these guys were saying this about the Green Party or about Cornell West instead. Like, look outside the duopoly. Stop looking at Republican and, and Democrat. But I think it's going to take more education, right? to educate people that there are other options outside both of these parties. Yep, absolutely. So there's two conflicting articles that I wanted to go over. Here is the continuation of this. This one's from the Washington Examiner. Uh, it says backlash to Trump mugshot is growing, particularly among black men. So this is out of Washington Examiner. So this is one side, and now I'm showing you guys the other opposite uh, side. It says, intoxicated, intoxicated by the thrill of humiliating former President Donald Trump for the fourth time, Democrats opted to take and release a mugshot following his arrest in Fulton County, Georgia. It was a serious miscalculation, and the realization of this foolish, unforced error is just beginning to sink in. Perhaps the most immediate consequence of this colossal blunder was that it was instantly catapulted Trump to legend status in the eyes of black men who lined the streets at his motorcade, wound its way to the Fulton County Jail just last week. They see the mugshot as a symbol of the man sticking it to the people, a feeling of which they're intimately familiar. Now, I have the video of black people cheering on Trump in the hood. It's not, it, it, it's, it's real. I think I, yeah, I think I saw this one. Yeah. This so is something there's, else. There's a lot more. Like I have a lot of video of stuff like this, but uh, due to the sake of time, I can't go over it all, but there's a lot. There's a lot on TikTok, you guys. Like if you mm -hmm. wanted to, to see more, there's it's more than people realize. Sabs, I didn't even go to TikTok. This is all just Twitter. So let's show. Somebody they got everybody. Look at that fuck up. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
They're not cheering for Biden. Biden. Jonathan, I love you, Jonathan. Jonathan said Trump is no Malcolm X. You are right. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Um, also, I just want to share now here is the opposite side. Um, I feel like we're going from the Crips to the Bloods. Um, so <laughs> hmm. uh, this one is Fox News host pushes racist narrative more black voters support him because of his mugshot the blurb says if anything black people are happy to see the mugshots of trump and his co-defendants go viral because how, how often black people's mugshots are highlighted in the media so it says in today's episodes of white people we you know we can hear you right fox news host jesse waters was demonstrating that white conservatives can't even share delusions about black people joining the MAGA world without being racist. We've seen it time and time again the way Republicans and their constituents show their desperation to show more black friends into their old white party. We've seen how they jump up in excitement like dogs vigorously wagging their tails at even the slightest indication that Donald Trump and or other GOP candidates are rising in the polls with black voters so this person basically is saying that it is racist to assume that black people are going to identify with trump just because he has a mugshot well i think I think they're looking at this the wrong way, but they're doing that on purpose, right? Like, obviously, mm -hmm. they, they have their own narrative that they want to follow as well. I think that what should be said is that are Black people resonating with the mugshot or are they resonating with the sound of the police? And I think it's the sound of the police. It's the policing, law enforcement, the way that Black people have been treated and harassed by the police in especially urban black communities, right? So when they see what's happened with Donald Trump and they hear indictment after indictment after indictment after indictment, and then they see him coming in to turn himself in in the state of Georgia, and they know that he's running for president, mm -hmm. well, then they see that, you know, okay, they're trying to, the police are trying to take this man down. The law enforcement is trying to take him down. That's the thing. And here's the thing, JB. Mm -hmm. If that's what people are paying attention to, they are less likely and less willing to look at each indictment and look at all the details to see what the charges actually are. And most people that I've spoken to have not looked at the charges. And the reason why they're not looking at it is because they've already established that this is politically motivated. The indictments didn't happen until after Donald Trump announced that he was running for president. So when people see that, like, oh, this is rigged, they're just trying to take him down and prevent him from running for president, they're less likely to look at the actual charges. I was just talking, we were just talking about this on uh, Bad Faith, and one of the things that I mentioned to Bree is that when it comes to all of these indictments, the one that they're more likely to actually get him on that I think actually does have more weight is the Georgia indictment. Mm -hmm. It's not... The, the January one, it's not it's not indictments one through three. Uh, those are what they are. But mm -hmm. I think the evidence, some of the evidence that I've seen that's been presented in reference to the Georgia indictment, that's the one I think that they can hit him heavy on. But mm -hmm. again, because of the way that they went about doing it. Mm -hmm. If they don't let JB, you tell me what you think. If I really feel that if they do not let J Donald Trump run in 2024 i think people are going to lose it yeah they're going to lose it um there's going to be a ton of people that are going to lose it so that that's basically how it's going to happen um they're going to try to make it like that um but ultimately i mean they want it to be a hyper partisan war because they want people to cheer for teams that's basically it and the thing is people need to get out of this red team blue team game and actually start thinking of instead of instead of left versus right they, just, they need to start thinking about class 
And the thing mm-hmm. is, a lot of people are not connecting the fact that Donald Trump is part of the class that keeps us down. And that $7 million that went to Trump's like campaign after that mugshot, why wasn't $7 million spent towards mutual aid? Yeah, and improving the community. Exactly. But the it's thing just- is, is that it's just like, for instance, we have some people who are assuming that we would be embracing Trump in his stream when, in fact, I don't think they actually watched any of RBN before. So T-shirt King says, I really don't understand. Are you guys trolling black men? Number one, you're talking to a black man, first of all and foremost. Number two, um, we have said time and time again, both parties are trash and including Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So it's okay when we bash Joe Biden because the Democrats and Joe Biden are horrible. But the moment we bash Donald Trump, oh, something's wrong with us. Like, nah, because the thing is that they're both exactly the same. It's just one is orange and one doesn't know what day it is. That's the only difference. And so here's the thing that a lot of people need to realize. Joe Biden is a lackey of the billionaire class. Donald Trump is also a friend and compadre of the billionaire class. They both fight for the billionaires. What in the world is the difference? This is something that people really need to get through their heads. And guess what? If you become a billionaire, you didn't do it by just working hard. You don't work hard to earn a billion dollars. I'll say this to Jay-Z. I'll say this to Rihanna. I'll say this to Donald Trump. I'll say this to Byron Allen. I'll say this to Tyler Perry. I'll say this to Oprah Winfrey. They did not earn a billion dollars. So guess what? That means they had to exploit. That's right, exploit. So if you're sitting here cheering for a billionaire, you're literally cheering for an exploiter. If you're cheering for Joe Biden, you're cheering for somebody that is for the exploitation of people by means of billionaires. And you're doing exactly what the establishment wants you to do. They want you to focus on red team, blue team, instead of focusing on the money. Y'all got to get off the plantation, man. Get off the plantation. Mm-hmm. Red plantation, blue plantation. Just get off of both of them. And this is why people are coming in the comments getting all mad because, oh, suddenly we have the nerve to bash Trump? Come on, man. I, I told you, people, Americans, like, it's just... It really does. It's a thing. Like Americans need to have some type of a ideological hero. Yeah. And it's just like, what does your life cease to exist if you don't have someone that you consider to be a hero on either side of the political aisle? No, it does not. Like stop pointing towards one person to be your savior and to idolize and organize with people in your community and save yourself. Yeah. We save us. And don't get me wrong, I'm talking shit about Biden, but also same thing with Obama, right? Same thing with Clinton. Hell, I'll even go so far as same thing with Carter. And then on top of it, with George W. Bush. Yep. They're all all part of the same club. And all were selected. Yep. And by the way, Joe Biden and the Democrats are not the left. Let's get it through your head. head. They're not the left at all. So, yeah, let's let's put things in perspective. 